year, Kilauea has come storming back to life once again. The volcano began erupting just after 4.30 p.m. yesterday. That's when our Casey Lon packed his bag, headed straight for the airport, and he's live <laughs> on Hawaii Island this morning. Good morning, Casey. Oh, and I'm so happy to be here. Good morning, guys. And we're so happy to be able to share this with our viewers. Uh, you know, we, we've been telling you all morning long that there is no imminent threat to the communities, and that's really important. I want to get to uh, the visuals here as quickly as possible. But first, I want to introduce Natalie Deline, who is a, a volcanologist, a geologist with HVO, Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory. Uh, really, how confident are you folks that this is going to stay here at the caldera? All the monitoring parameters show that the activity is centered right here, and there's no indication of it moving anywhere else on the volcano. Natalia, thank you. And, and now that we're going to be able to uh, zoom in and see still some of those fountains, you've been working all night. You haven't slept uh, much like me. I came here as soon as they uh, told me there was an eruption. I got on a plane. I got here. You guys have been working through the night. You've been down closer to that. How high are some of those fountains reaching? So we were able to measure some fountains. It's a bit hard at night, as you might imagine, but about 30 meters. I'm doing the conversion. That's probably about uh, 90 feet, 100 feet, something like that. That was at the beginning. Overnight, it was more like 10 meters. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the chronology here? The Kilauea eruption kind of paused right when the Mauna Loa eruption paused uh, and then came roaring back to life. Any indication of why that uh, happened that way? Um, no, right now this is a resumption of the activity that stopped about a month ago, so it's resuming and we had about 90 minutes of warning that something was about to happen and then it, it erupted around 4.30 yesterday and has been going on ever since. Personal question for you, Natalia. Uh, I know you study this and this is your livelihood and your life, uh, but I, I imagine it really never gets old, correct? No, never. <laughs> I agree with you there because we've uh, covered this. I've been so grateful to be able to cover this over the last five years or so. Uh, of course, there's been more devastating eruptions when we talk about the Kilauea eruption in 2018 and the concern over the Mount Loa eruption. But when we know uh, from the experts that things are going to be safe for our neighbors here on Hawaii Island, uh, that's a good news thing to report and a reason that I have a big smile on my face because I'm just happy to be over here and share it with you guys <laughs> at home. Uh, though it's chilly. It's chilly up here, but I'm happy to be here. What a special morning. Yeah, it is spectacular. All right. Thank you, Casey.